The Loop is back. This week we'll be talking about an American mess up, a pretty helpful bike rider, and an employee who confirmed what we've known for years. Again, this is The Loop. I'm Carter Naki. Now let's go. The 4th of July is a magical time in every kid's life. Something about the overwhelming heat, processed food, and exploding munitions just says America. But what happens when one of the most American of holidays goes awry? What happens when the contained explosions no longer amuse us, but turn evil? What happens when fireworks go bad? The mood at the July 4th celebration turned from joy to chaotic in a split second. Dozens were injured when these fireworks went rogue in Simi Valley in California. For an in-depth analysis of what exactly went wrong, we turn to the Loop's L reporter, CamSac1. CamSac, can you hear me? Whoa, what the heck am I doing here? I hope this mic actually works. I don't know if it actually works or not. Anyways, I don't even care if I'm actually using this mic. Blech. Okay, anyways, what's up everyone? CamSac1 here. I just want to give you some updates and everything else. Uh, <sighs> knew we should have tested this mic before sending him in the field. CamSac1, what can you tell us? Here's a little screaming. What? Why is there a little girl screaming? Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! 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 What? 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 Damn it, Camp Stack One! Don't run! We pay you to stay on the scene. Stay where you are and report. Oh! Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, we're now looking for a new L reporter. Resumes should be faxed in triplicate to 1-800-YOU'RE-NOT-HIRED. Thank you. What's next? You've, uh, you've got something on your bumper there. Um, uh, never mind. He'll, he'll get it. He'll get, he's got it. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. This do-good motorcycle rider saw a woman, of course, driving with a coffee mug on her bumper. He tried to get her attention, she was too busy putting on lipstick, so he did the next best thing, which is to grab the 99 cent mug off of a moving vehicle in traffic, but at least he gave it back to her. My daughter! Jeez, way to throw your daughter under the bus! Also, you're supposed to say thank you. What's next? So. I'm outside. Here's the dumpster area. I'm walking into it right now. And this is what my company likes to do with their food for inspection. This hamburger meat. Look at all these flies. It's disgusting. So, wait. You're telling me that Golden Corral isn't fine dining? Brandon Huber is the employee behind this video. He gives his full name and the address of his location to make his firing all that more easy. But let's face it, if you're not paying $9.99 for dumpster ribs, how else are you going to get obese? I am not sharing an appetizer. It's two for 20 at Golden Corral. It's nonstop appetizers, salads, all you can eat entrees, desserts, including the amazing chocolate wonderfall. It's unlimited deliciousness. It's the ultimate two for 20 dinner buffet, Monday through Thursday, Golden Corral. Help yourself to happiness. You may not want to share an appetizer, but I'm pretty sure that chocolate fountain will take care of itself. That does it for The Loop this week. You can check out all of these stories on the Lasso blog on KTR.com. If you have something you think that I have to see, tweet it to me, at Carter Naki. And now, for your stupid cat scare of the week.